This is something that's a real shame and something I don't usually like talking about, but because it affects the wrestling world in such a big fashion, we have to talk about this topic. And that's Dayton Fix has been suspended until February of 2021. He's unable to wrestle, which is just, you know, such an unfortunate thing, but it is due to a failed drug test. Now we'll get to the facts of the case and exactly what happened here in just a second. And, and I will be talking about all of that. The first, I mean, this is breaking news. This is something that just happened, even though the failed drug test happened in January of 2020, that's January of this past year. Dayton Fix actually failed the drug test in an out of competition uh, event. So he had these drugs in his system, which they found were Osterin, which is actually a way to treat uh, muscle wasting diseases. Now, this is a, a drug that is actually uh, prohibited at all times by the Olympic Committee. So this is something that Dayton Fix was not allowed to have in his system, and he had it in his system. Now, the panel of American Arbitration Association, uh, which was part of the uh, United States Anti-Doping Agency, the USADA, they concluded this case and found that he had violated, uh, you know, the, exactly what happened here. He failed his drug test, um, but he was able to receive some reductions in uh, his suspension. And why did that happen? Why was he able to receive that reduction? Well, they found that Dayton Fix didn't actually intend to enhance his athletic performance. Uh, what exactly does that mean? Well, Fix explained to this, uh, I guess, to this to the arbitrators. He he had kind of explained that he was unaware, uh, and I'm getting this story straight from Intermat. It's on all the wrestling sites today. I mean, this is huge right now, but I I'm looking straight from Intermat here. Uh, he explained that he was unaware that his father had the Osterin, this this drug in a water bottle, which Fix had grabbed out of the refrigerator, uh, which was the supplement mixture, and he had grabbed it, he drank it, ended up peeing out and you know he came back uh he failed the drug test so he's claiming that it was his dad's water bottle and the panel found that because fix did not actually intend to alter you know alter his performance here that he was actually able to get away with a uh, he received a reduced uh suspension so this is a one-year suspension from february until february so you know this is something that he, he luckily because the trials are going to be held, you know, likely next probably April, uh, he's going to probably be able to compete in the Olympic trials next season. But the question here is like, how does this affect his college season? And that, that's the thing that I'm really wondering about. And I took a little look into this to see how this affects him. So we've seen in the past, uh, you know, this happened just earlier this year with Zahid Valencia, a very, very similar situation where he failed his drug test and then was unable to compete in the conference championships and unable to compete at the NCAAs, which, you know, didn't end up happening, but he was unable to compete. And so will a similar thing happen with Dayton Fix? This kind of comes back to Oklahoma State and what their policy is on drugs, because this was at kind of an out of competition um, drug test. And so it, I guess it, it kind of depends on the whole situation and what they say. So this is what I found about the Oklahoma State policy. Uh, it is a policy of the Oklahoma State University that using, abusing, possessing, blah, 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 under the influence of drugs is prohibited while a member of any OSU athletics team or participating in OSU athletics when, whenever on or off Oklahoma State University premises. So we know that uh, Fix, I believe, was off these Oklahoma State premises, but he still did fail the drug test. So I guess it, it's we're going to see where Oklahoma State falls and if they're going to uh, put even more sanctions on him, whether he's not able to compete for a season. And then if that's the case, does Fix just take that Olympic redshirt year? Does he lose a year of eligibility? I think that there are still so many questions up in the air. To me, this is something that uh, I just find a real shame. You know, I, I'm just looking at the facts of the case here and exactly what happened. It's a shame to see these failed drug tests. Um, you know, whether or not it was, uh, you know, his dad's water bottle, which is what he has claimed, um, you know, it's, we'll, we'll see what exactly comes of this. To me, it's just unfortunate exactly what happened here. It's unfortunate that I don't get to see Dayton Fix compete, that you don't get to see Dayton Fix compete, but we will, 
you know, maybe see him compete at the Olympic trials next year, which should be still an exciting event. Hopefully he learned a lesson here um, in, in many regards, and I hope that that's kind of the takeaway from this whole situation.